interviewed to do a YouTube video on my friends, um, inspired by Pammy Dodger. I love you, Pam. I was just looking on her YouTube, being nosy, being me, and noticed that she had, or you had, if you're watching it, a video on um, like your best friend. You're the best friend. And then I realised that I sort of neglected friends back home because, you know, I've come to uni and um, I talk to them on Facebook and text or whatever when I can. But, you know, we're all sort of drifting apart, um, which really sucks because I love all my friends that I have back home, including people here. But, you know, people back home, um, I love you lots. I did that. I might as well acknowledge the fact that all my friends that I've either ever made or just realised how funny that I'm talking about all my friends and I actually have my friends poster behind me which could look really corny but honestly it wasn't actually done on purpose. If it had done I would have got off the cooler background. It's just that in my uni room that's what I have up. Um, which was actually bought for me by my one of my best mates Alice. Ooh I love you Alice. I'm babbling so I'll get to the point. Uh, let's start from the very beginning very good place to start. Uh, I guess people that you become friends with when you start like reception or nursery or um, kindergarten, um, I guess they have a big impact on your life. Um, I think, I'm trying to think if the only sort of people that I've ever really stayed in contact with from that young age are people that like mainly family friends or that, you know, we grew up together at, like, church or something like that. <laughs> From my first primary school, um, I have Lorna, uh, and she, we've had our fair, fair goings, um, our, a lot of rocky roads, but I guess she's the only sort of friend that I've stayed in contact from that age, um, I love her to bits, even though we can fight like cat and dog, and she's crazy. Yeah, we even once fought over a hole puncher. Long, long story, but it basically, she hole punched my work, I got angry, and we started yelling, and our music teacher, Mr. Gannon, went, was like, oh, okay, what's going on? Um, yeah. Secondary school was okay. I went to chapter school, it was alright, it was nothing special. I've definitely made some lifelong friends there. In all fairness, I actually did keep the same friends from year 7 till year 11, pretty much. One friend that I did keep throughout all those years was Sarah. She was and is my best friend. You're the best friend. You know, she's great, she's so funny, she's absolutely crazy, does not care what people think of her. She's just, you know, she's wicked. In year 11, when we actually left, there was always only me, Sarah, Chantel and Lorna. We were the sort of loners that had no friends. We did have friends. But, you know, we, we it was our little group. And we didn't really care, you know. We, we weren't losers or anything, but we weren't the fake people at the top. Those three mean a lot to me, and you know when I went to sixth form, and especially now we have lost contact, but at the same time we're still in contact. We just don't see each other as m much as I'd like, to be honest. I'm lucky to have them three. <laughs> I went to um, sixth form at Raining Girls, where I've met some amazing people. If I'm honest, it's so so many good laughs. The main people without anyone's feelings was Alice, Fane, Sadie. I had so many good laughs with them. I think one of the best subjects I took at school at six form was photography. I absolutely loved it and purely mainly because of sort of our little group in photography. There was me, obviously, Alice, Pammy and Cara. Um, they are like the funniest, best girls in the world and we had such a laugh and I'm not just saying this because she's going to watch it and you better be watching this. 
Um, and I'm not just saying it to sort of score goody points or anything, but honestly, Pam is such an amazing girl, and you don't really doesn't care what people think about her. And if she does, then sort of puts two things up to it anyway. It makes me laugh. It's so funny. It really got me into Harry Potter, and I love getting the occasional text. Like um, a few weeks ago, I got one about um, Dementors. Whenever it's foggy or cloudy, I get I know I'll get a text from Pam saying about Dementors, and because we're geeks like that, and we used to always sing Legally Blonde, Shrek, um, or laugh at people or the girls playing uh, Fiona, I should say. Um, really corny, but uh, have faith in yourself because you're such a lovely girl and I really wish you all the best in anything you want to do and I really, really, really hope that we're mates, you know, for life. So, that's for you. <laughs> so, I'm going to do another video for, you know, other friends. Um, I don't want it to sound like I'm really popular or anything, just that I've been lucky enough to do a lot of social activities, being in performing arts, you sort of have to make friends or even, if, you know, make acquaintances. So I'll make a, another video for that where um, I'll also mention more about Alice, Sadie and Faye because I love them loads and they're my best mates ever and um, more about my performing arts lot really um, and my best mate Kieran who's like my little brother too. So uh, keep watching. Hope you like this. Thanks for watching. Bye. Love you, Pammy.